what he was doing earlier. Like, he just really brings everything Diddy has to the table. Yeah, he is by far the most technical and innovative Diddy, in my opinion. Um, I watch a lot of Zero, watch a lot of Zenodo, mm -hmm. and just the stuff they're doing, it, they definitely have extremely solid fundamentals, better yeah. than Angel, I would say. Yeah. But when it comes to the Trixies, this is your guy. Mm -hmm. And he's not, a, like, he has the execution to back it up, too. It's not like he's just all craziness and no action. And also, he has very good fundamentals in his own right. So I'm definitely anticipating him to take the set here. I'm sure he's the favorite, especially just based on the character matchup. But San, absolute legend of a player. Both of these guys brawl veterans. Uh, a lot of people don't know Angel was icon and brawl, a prolific Ice Climbers and Diddy Kong player from Tri-State. But San, let me tell you, man, this guy has slain so many top players. There was a, an Apex where uh, he took out Ultimate Razor and Genes, who were the two best players in Texas, who used Diddy and Snake. Terrible matches for Ike, and he managed yeah. to plow through them. Um, yeah, so San is a beast in his own right, man. And he uh, has been kind of quiet in Smash 4. His region, upstate New York, doesn't really get all that much exposure. They don't yeah. travel too much, but they do come to Ontario. Every yeah, now they do and then. travel uh, to Toronto quite a bit. And honestly, uh, only recently have I, I would say Arsene is kind of getting the, the Ike download, I would say. Uh -huh. But before, he used to be a terror. Every time he came, it was easy top three for him. But uh, he has some of the best reactions. Uh, I've ever seen like it's insane and for a character like Ike you have to right yeah you got those slow uh, aerials and such you got to be on point uh, make sure all those punishes are up and it's going to be battlefield uh, first uh, map of he, he also makes Ike look like a quick character his yeah. movement is just buttery smooth yeah. so let's see how this plays out we've got a speed demon in Diddy Kong especially when Back by Angel Cortez, and San is just going to be doing those power hits. A lot of grab combos, too. Playing that boxing game, Ike has a phenomenal jab, so I think we'll see a lot of that. But either way, San getting the better of the first few exchanges. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like it's going to be very uh, neutral favor for Diddy, but once San gets in there, he's going to get those big hits. He's be doing a lot of damage, so um, we'll see. Yeah, definitely the reward on hit is going to be skewed in San's favor here, but it's just a matter of actually getting those hits. Exactly. And the banana is such a thorn in Ike's side. He doesn't really have the best jump-ins. And basically his best hope is to try to hop over the banana and do a fully spaced aerial on Diddy Kong's shield so that he can't just autopilot shield grab it. But then if Angel has the banana in his own hand, that's when it becomes a problem because he can still punish the fully spaced aerials. Yeah, we were talking about Angel's tricks, but I noticed he has no problem paying patiently. If he has that banana, he has that lead, he has no problem just holding back. And he knows the limitations of Ike, really. Like, he, as you can see, just covering all those landings, bananas, side Bs. He's having a real hard time getting in right now. Yeah, these two have met in bracket before, by the way. Angel has a lot of respect and fear of San. Um, they have had two very close game five sets, in which Angel admittedly cheesed him out. He was like, yeah, I, I've beaten him before, but both times I cheesed him. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to pull this one off. But I don't know. If I were him, I'd be fairly confident, Yeah. especially based on the way this match is playing out. Uh, maybe not, though. Pretty close, actually, in percents, especially Ike with Rage. Quite heavy character as well. So uh, it's going to be a little bit, it's going to need some hard-hitting move to kill Ike right now. That was a sick read by San. Ooh. Scouts out the roll back and yeah. crushes his stock away with the landing back air. That's that buttery, buttery smooth movement you were saying. Like, just he just makes the character look so much faster than he really is. Yeah, for sure. It's all smoke and mirrors to yeah. some degree. But also, once he does hit you, it's Pretty nightmarish, man. I want to see what San's low percent grab combos are like on Diddy Kong. Okay. I feel like he could have got another down tilt to fair off that, but San just going to stick to what he knows. Yeah. And really, I can't really commit that well to the edge guard because like you saw uh, just a few moments ago, uh, Angel actually almost got that spike. One, Ike's, one of his weakest points is very susceptible to those spikes off stage. Yeah, basically all you have to do is get above and slightly behind Aether, and it could be curtains. Angel also... Very prolific with his spikes. Of course, there's the angel drop yeah. from the edge. God forbid you do regular get up or jump. And the thing is, uh, because he has that reputation, a lot of people opt for the roll, but he knows that. Like, yeah. he's already conditioned. He doesn't even have to play you. You're already conditioned to his uh, his mind games. <laughs> exactly. When you have a tech named after you, yeah. your opponents are definitely looking out for it a lot. By the way, the drop off second jump aerial does beat the angel drop as well. So yeah. it's not just roll that can take care of that option. Either way, we've got Angel off the stage now at 93%. San looking so good. Ooh, nice f catching that standard getup. Now Angel. Woo! Oh my god. Yo, if that happened, man. And he was so quick. Oh! He was so quick to the roll read and getting that kill. Wow. Wait, did he kill him with Nair? I feel like that, that was, was Nair. actually Nair. Was Nair. Yeah. yeah. Off the top. Pretty rare. Wow. 
honestly, it almost looked out of range, so maybe Angel just wasn't ready with the DI. I'm not too sure, but regardless, game one goes to Sen. And again, I reiterate, this matchup is trash for yeah. Ike. It's bad. Just, just shows how good uh, Sen is of a player. And of course, getting rid of that at Final Destination. I don't think anyone, regardless of your character, really wants to let Diddy Kong go on FD. So, uh, interesting uh, Lila choice. Um, yeah, this is definitely an Angel Classic. He loves playing on the stage. Also, when the ship is tilted downward, Diddy Kong's side B, uh, the kick will slide for any frame that he's in the ending lag of it. So he gets a huge edge cancel window on this. And I think that's a big reason why Angel likes the stage. Yeah, it's similar to like a Pikachu kind of tech where you get those up right. cancels on the, uh, the tilt. Yeah, basically uh, any move that has landing lag, you'll continue to slide down an incline during those frames. So Monkey Flip, because it has that edge cancel property, yeah. is definitely really good here. Angel, like, uh, maybe showing a little more respect now, because we saw having an explosive early game, and now just playing a lot more patient, getting those little uh, grab combos, racking up the percent solely. Yeah, that's definitely how you have to play against a character like Ike, especially yeah. when they hit you as hard as Sand does yeah, for sure. any mistake. Yeah, it's kind of like how you approach heavy matchups in general, uh, just Ike being a little faster than most, but hitting equally as hard. And also having a sword yeah. gives him a distinct advantage over a lot of the characters who are built similarly to him. Right now, about a 50% lead on Angel's side. Again, just retreating with that peanut gun. And just doesn't really have the fastest movement speed. So look, Angel just literally standing there. like. Uh, yeah, he knows he's not going to get bursted on. Yeah, so I could just react to your, uh, your incline. So there it is, like that yeah. edge cancel, like you said. Either way, uh, it's definitely not over for San on this stock by any means. We've seen what he can do yeah. off just a grab. Get a little rage to boost the knockback too, and oh man, 74% is pretty much prime percent. Yeah, percent port. is looking uh, almost very similar to game one, and Tom was able to take that first stock. Angel's taking a big risk by betting it all on that air dodge. If he got up aired, I'm almost certain he was gonna die, and it looks like Sam read it too. Okay. Oh, I, yeah, I feel like that wasn't what he wanted to do off yeah. that trip. He could have just up smashed him into oblivion, but probably, probably one of the down throw confirm, uh, just miss. Maybe flicking the C-Stick in a slightly wrong direction. All right, there we go. Angel going to clean up the first stock here, but San still poised to take a stock with probably just a grab. Yeah, I'm trying to get those combos going, but great tech on San's part. Oh, still hanging in there, though. Angel Cortez has got a pretty good lead. Of course, 33% if he loses that stock right now is next to nothing. Yeah. San now taking his time. Oh my god, the patient paying off with that strong back air. Yeah, that move is so quick and so powerful. I feel like a lot of the time if you're fighting Ike, you're anticipating a slow aerial with a lot of startup. And Angel has fallen for that now twice. Back air blindingly fast compared to the rest of Ike's moveset. Hey, you saw a little bit of edge cancel there on uh, Sans side B as well. So Sans showing he's got that Lilat tech as well. Something the up throw, just classic Diddy combos, rack up that percent slowly. Yeah, man, San brought this back so quickly, though. Yeah. Just an up throw to up air, Angel tacking on the damage piece by piece, whereas every time San hits him, it's trouble. San's very good at keeping his composure. He knows it's going to be hard getting in, but once he does, he gets those strong hits, a lot of percent on them. Yeah, I don't think San has ever tilted in his life. This yeah. guy is just... Even when you talk to cold. him outside of game, he's just the most like calm and composed like individual. Yeah, for sure. I believe also he went to Cornell University, so this guy is a certified Ivy League genius. Yeah. It presents himself very well. And now Angel just using the arc of Lilat to make his peanuts hit directly horizontally. Yeah. That's actually pretty sick. Unfortunately, it started working against him as the ship tilted a little bit more. Ooh. Backing off from that dash attack, that move is disgustingly strong. Yeah. I think San is trying to look for some fear from Angel and just snipe him out with that again. It's going to be have to he has to be very careful with the banana plugs and when he does it. Like you said, the dash attack is very strong. Especially at the ledge. Don't want anything crazy happening to you. Like, oh, the dash attack. And oh, that was it. no! From the platform. He wasn't even at the actual ledge. It's so strong. Oh. I actually hard read that. He plucked the banana in the wrong time. Dash attack took that stock. And now 2 0. You called it, man. And that is a frame 15 move, by the way. That yeah. is not quick. Like we said, the reaction time. The, the second he finds that vulnerable time, and Sun's right in there. And again with the FD band, staying with it. This is a 
certainly an upset based on the matchup, man. And hmm. even based on tournament results, I feel like San, again, kind of yeah. a quiet player. You don't see him too much outside of upstate New York and Toronto. But Andrew Cortez, man, he's been winning all the locals by us pretty much consistently. Oh. Okay, opening up with that down air, but able to recover. All right, do we have a reverse 30 incoming, or is San just going to take this one all the way? Could also take it in four or five games. Angel, though, looking like a new man here on Town and City. I like the more aggressive approach Angel's taking now. Uh, he showed the patience early and didn't really play off. He's down two games, so trying to mix it up. And now hasn't taken a single percent. Sand stealing a banana. Wow. <laughs> it's very rare that you'll see somebody take Diddy Kong's banana and actually hit the Diddy player with them or with it or do something consequential off of it. Yeah, that's one of the big things in the matchup you have to learn is item control. Um, oh, I feel like Angel wanted the reverse banana pluck and he just side beat off the stage instead. Could have cost him dearly, but makes it back with not too much percent tagged on him. Yeah, he just has to compose himself, not let those errors get in his way. He knows, man. His back is to the wall here. One game could end it all. Yeah. Just getting him off stage, those little hits. Wow. Just making any time not to get hit. Tripped up by that banana. Good command grab there. Oh, throws the banana right at San's feet, but San exhibiting no fear of it whatsoever. Just held his ground, staying cool, and okay. here we go. Finally, we see the banana to up smash. Yeah. Close out that stock uh, relatively low percent. Yeah, 58. Definitely nothing to be too comfortable with against a character like this, though. Yeah, Thomas City especially. Oh, wow. Reads this ID, but just not in time. Like we said, that slow frame data. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, my God. That was squeaky clean. Looks like San is on pace to take the stock without too much extra credit getting tacked on for Angel Cortez. Oh, wow. Okay, Z drop with a banana. Going to get him that grab. Oh, I feel like he had a chance to just throw the banana and get a grab and probably another 15, 20% off of it. Chasing Sand down with the banana. Not only using it as a reactionary out of shield option, but also as an offensive tool. As we see him also attack with a lot of Z-drop aerials. Exactly. Yeah, respecting that up B. Can't really do much on his way down. All right, forward throws off the stage. Doesn't want to go for the up throw up air. Would rather just take stage control, raw damage. So quick at the flick of that back air. Okay, I thought he was actually going to go for forward smash. It looked like it was there, but Angel taking the safer option, not trying to reach for something that wasn't a true combo. Oh, falling out Ooh. there. That could have been it, actually. Can't tell if lucky break or crazy smash DI, but here we go. San, one stock away from eliminating Angel Cortez at this point. He's down 131%, but I have most certainly seen crazier stuff in my time. Nothing like some good rage in the tank to get you those kills that you need. Right. We also have to see how it's going to influence his low percent combos. Of course, it's going to send Diddy Kong a lot further anytime he gets hit. Sam content to just plank the ledge a little bit. Yeah, with that huge hitbox of the up, he can't really do much on the regrab. Kind of have to respect it. And that should do it. Yes. All right, Angel finds himself on the board here. Yeah, that patience paying off at the end there. Realizing if you're down 130, you can plank all you want, but as soon as you come to the stage, um, you're going to be there ready and waiting. So Angel getting rid of Dreamland. And I kind of like that because the movement we saw on Battlefield uh, looked like someone was very comfortable on the triplats. So Angel getting rid of that option for him. Right, and if Angel does end up having himself taken to Battlefield here, uh, at least the ceiling is higher and he's not going to die to yeah, those exactly. up there to up airs as easily. All right, Smashville it is, and Angel, strangely enough, actually hates this stage, which I feel like is pretty rare among Smash 4 players. But he generally will strike it first or ban it in a lot of sets. Yeah, one of the things I think people don't really realize when it comes to Diddy is that because it, it actually has like a lower, there's not much time or space to charge your barrels under the stage. Whereas like you see something like Battlefield, there's a lot yeah. more space, a lot more time that Diddy can use to get back on the stage. It's a pretty good observation. I've definitely asked him, like, what his aversion to the stage is, and he hasn't mentioned that at all. It's just really the space that he doesn't want to deal with. You know, it's a little close quarters. But, yeah, I definitely agree that the shorter bottom yeah. is a hindrance for Diddy Kong. Either way, it looks like San is doing just fine here without that. 
just lost the lead off that Banana to Forward Smash, but still, he's been playing phenomenally. Even just to keep an even pace in terms of percents with Diddy Kong as Ike is impressive in its own right. Yeah, honestly, like uh, we're used to seeing Angel taking a bigger lead at uh, the first stock. Whether San takes the first stock or not, usually percent is in Angel's favor. Looking pretty even right now. All right, 82 to 112. Solid lead for Angel, but again, Ike, heavy character. A lot of ways to just not die. Even though he's not great at approaching, he's pretty good at stuffing approaches. Either way, it doesn't matter. Angel gonna find that up smash and close the stock out. Sick pivot grab though. Angel's getting too predictable oh with these rolls and that's god. actually gonna kill. Such a strong hit. Oh my god, that's gonna take it, evening it out. I feel like that DI was fraudulent too. It could have been. Yeah, he was probably still DIing out from the down throw, or the up throw rather. Angel just swinging right now, getting those two down airs. And this is all of a sudden back to even. Angel taking the first stock barely meant anything. Okay, he's trapping that landing with the banana. Good stuff. Getting the grab into fair. Oh, wow. Actually managing to interrupt the startup of neutral air. Okay. Dropping it down, putting it in the exact position he needed for that F smash to connect. Sand really struggling to reclaim stage control. Oh, and that's going to do it. Oh, no, it's not! How heavy boy. is this guy? Max, that's a big boy! It really is. He has 107 weight, by the way, so yeah. he's uh, considerably heavier than a character like Cloud, for example. If you look at the sprites, he's been working out since Brawl. He's mm -hmm. a big boy now. He's like, man, I'm tired of being low tier. Now I'm low mid tier. Uh oh. 179 percent. Yeah, man. That's, that's a lot of rage, Max. Exactly! That's a lot of rage. Oh, no! I feel like an unfair could get the done it, but he goes with the fair, does not quite get the stock. That was so ridiculously close to the end of Angel Cortez's oh. run, and so was that. Oh my god. Oh man, Angel literally. Oh, oh my that's, god, it. that's it! That's it! 179%. Sand takes it over Angel Cortez. Angel finishing seventh place. I mentioned it, Max, that's a lot of rage. That's a lot of rage. I, I mean, and that's a yeah, big boy. It, it definitely was a lot of rage. Ooh. Oh my god. As soon as he got that grab on the platform, it seemed like... Wow, we got the whole yeah. crowd liking Ike right now. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I don't know if there's a, a crowd mic for, for Smash 4 here, but... Yeah. Wow, okay. Well then, uh, apologies for some of my choice words earlier <laughs> in the crowd, but... Um, yeah. Wow, that was actually nuts. That was actually insane. I think as soon as he got that grab on the Smashville platform, it looked like Angel's neutral kind of just fell apart right there. But looking at that 179%, he's like, wow, like, I could die to a very strong hit. And that fair was able to take it, so. Three to one, yeah. San over Angel Cortez. In a matchup that I'm going to say is even probably worse than 60-40. But I know when Angel watches this cast, he's going to be like, bro, the matchup's not even that bad. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Honestly, the neutral did not look in, in San's favor at all. Like, it, Angel was dominating, but he just, like I said earlier, before the set started, he finds a way with a slow character to get in, get in your face, throw out those big hitboxes. And they hurt. You could tell that Angel was getting shook too off of every hit. It was like, oh man.